Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be checking out the five best graphics cards you can buy right now. I made this list based on my personal opinion and hours of research, and I've listed them based on performance and price. I've included options for every type of consumer, so whether you're looking for a budget graphics card for 1080p gaming or a premium card that can handle anything you throw at it, we'll have the product for you. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. Okay, so let's get started with the video. The fifth product on our list is the Sapphire AMD Radeon RX 580. This is our best budget graphics card. If you're looking for a budget graphics card for 1080p and VR gameplay, but don't want to shell out for the premium cards, then the Sapphire AMD Radeon RX 580 is a great choice that delivers great performances at an affordable price, and may be the best graphics card for you. Currently priced at $180, the RX 580 is a great mid-range graphic card to take on the latest AAA games in Full HD and 1440p resolutions with a 1366MHz boost clock speed and 8GB of GDDR5 memory. You'll get excellent 1080p gaming performance and be able to push it easily to 60fps and higher at maximum settings in Fortnite, Witcher 3, Battlefield 1, and more, including the latest releases. When it comes to gaming in 1440p, you'll have to make some compromises, but depending on your settings, including anti-aliasing, which can be a killer motion blur and depth of field, you should still keep high to max settings and find that you'll often average out at about 40 to 50 FPS. For VR, you'll have more than enough power to enjoy 90 plus FPS in all but the most intensive VR games. You'll be able to use Steam VR's resolution scaling feature to bring it to an acceptable level if you run into any performance issues. Overall, the AMD RX 580 8GB is the updated iteration of the RX 480 and is the best value gaming GPU around right now. It'll beat out the GTX 1060 and only slightly lags behind the RX 590, but the RX 580 is still cheaper than both. The key features are boost clock, speeds up to 1366 MHz. Build, high polymer aluminum capacitors offering outstanding reliability. Cooling, dual fans. The pros are price. For the performance and value, it's incredibly priced. Speed, faster than Radeon RX 480. Performance, great 1080p, good 1440p, and solid VR gameplay. And for the cons, power consumption. Higher power consumption than the Radeon RX 480 underload. Power efficiency lags far behind GTX 1060 in power efficiency. If you're looking for a budget graphics card for 1080p at high settings and 60 FPS without breaking the bank, the Sapphire AMD Radeon RX 580 may be the best graphics card for you. The fourth product on our list is the Asus GeForce GTX 1660. This is our best value per dollar graphics card. If you can afford to spend a bit more for your graphics card, then the Asus GeForce GTX 1660 is an all-around great value for the dollar. Currently priced at $240, the GeForce GTX 1660 Super is not only faster than the original 1660, but now adds GDDR6 video memory, so you get a significant boost in memory speed, pushing close to the GTX 1660 Ti performance levels. It's powered by NVIDIA Touring with 1408 CUDA cores and overclocked 6GB GDDR6 memory in a 2.7 slot form factor and delivers a great gaming experience that you're going to love when playing those AAA titles in full HD at maxed out settings. The dual axial tech fans will keep pumping out the frames outlasting most of the competition. You'll be able to connect up to three monitors, including DisplayPort, HDMI, and DVI for a max resolution of 7680 by 4320. One of the great things that come with the GTX 1660 is the advanced software options including GPU Tweak 2 Utility, XSplit Gamecaster, WT Fast, Quantum Cloud, and GeForce Experience software to customize and enhance the GTX 1660 performance. So if you're looking for a 1080p card, this supercharged 1660 is one of the best value graphics card you'll find on the market in this price range. The key features are graphic performance, uses award-winning NVIDIA Touring architecture, auto extreme technology, reduces thermal strain on components and lowers manufacturing power consumption and enhances reliability. GPU Tweak 2 provides intuitive performance tweaking, thermal controls, and system monitoring. The pros are Dual Axial Tech Fans Axial Tech fan design features longer fan blades and a unique barrier ring to increase air pressure. 
2.7 slot design expands the cooling surface area to make the most of the two powerful Axialtech fans. Frame rates, extremely smooth 1080p frame rates, efficient, low power draw, and for the cons, modest gains over 1066 gigabytes. Ports, only one HDMI and display port. If you're trying to stretch the graphics card dollar for the biggest bang for the buck, the Asus GeForce GTX 1660 is an all-around great value for the dollar that's faster than the original 1660, but now adds GDDR6 video memory, so you get a significant boost in memory speed, pushing close to the GTX 1660 Ti performance levels. The third product on our list is the XFX RX 5700 Thick 3 Ultra. This is our best graphics card under $500. If you're looking for the best graphics card for gaming under $500, the XFX RX 5700 Thick 3 Ultra is one of AMD's best high-end GPUs and can run games at fast speeds. Plus, it generally comes in under NVIDIA prices, making it a great choice for you. Currently priced at $400, the XFX Radeon RX 5700 XT Thick 3 Ultra is impressive, with loads of metal and one of the biggest overclocks on the market today. The XFX card is probably one of the largest and heaviest around. There are no RGB LEDs, which disappoint some gamers, but it's still a cool-looking graphics card with a cool muscle car design. To note, it's a triple-slot unit, so it'll occupy plenty of space on your motherboard. You'll find three fans on this card. The two outer fans are 90mm models, and there's a 100mm spinner in the middle. You'll find the addition of an extra fan will not only improve cooling, but it'll also slow all of the fans down therefore reducing the overall fan noise. The thick card is a solid performer at 1080p and averages are above 100 FPS and usually only about 2 or 3 frames behind the RTX 2070 Super and can occasionally even match the NVIDIA card for pace. It also has the speed to play eSports titles at 1080p and at refresh rates of 240Hz and higher, making it a great option for even competitive gaming. And for most single-player titles, you'll get an average of beyond 60 FPS at 1440p. It can handle 4K, but expect to make some compromises. It'll average between 33 FPS and 75 FPS, so you'll have to drop down some of the graphics settings. Overall, it'll run anything at 1080p. Most games will play smoothly at 1440p, too. 4K gaming will take a hit without some compromises to your gaming settings. The key features are XFX 0dB auto-load sensing fans. Runs at high performance while the 0dB fan system keeps the fans running at efficient RPM in order to minimize annoying fan noise. Dynamic cooling yields lower temperatures and heightened performance that adapt to the intensity of the moment. The pros are performance, great 1080p and 1440p gameplay. Build, superb physical design and build. Fan, quiet operation. Price, cheaper than the RTX 2070 Super. And for the cons, size. Long, heavy card. Ray tracing. No ray tracing. Low 4K frame rates. Can't always handle 4K games. If you're looking for one of the best graphics cards for gaming, the XFX RX 5700 Thick 3 Ultra has AMD's top high-end GPU and can run games at fast speeds without going over the $500 threshold. For excellent 1080p gaming experience at averages of 100 FPS, this is a great choice for you. The second product on our list is the MSI Gaming GeForce RTX 2080. This is our best graphics card under $1,000. If you're looking for a top-of-the-line gaming graphics card that can even handle 4K without tipping over the $1,000 mark, MSI Gaming GeForce RTX 2080 may be the best choice for you. You'll get smooth frame rates and amazing performance while staying within your budget. Currently priced at $740, the MSI Gaming GeForce RTX 2080 is the next generation touring from NVIDIA and hits the sweet spot of high performance and fully justifies its steep price tag. It's a high-end graphics card that can handle 4K at 60fps on most games that many cards struggle to achieve. You won't find many other mainstream graphics cards as powerful as the RTX 2080. It also features a new set of 46 RT cores and 468 tensor cores, which helps rendering real-time ray tracing and artificial intelligence-powered computations. It'll blow through gaming at 1080p, and at 4K, the NVIDIA RTX 2080 can hit an impressive 60fps. Playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 4K at the highest settings available with HDR turned on does bring the frame rate down to 40 FPS, while Destiny 2 delivers an impressive 60 to 75 FPS.
Other than the Asus ROG Strix GeForce RTX 2080 Ti coming up next in the video, there isn't another graphics card faster than this currently, or one that could possibly deliver a 4K 60fps gaming experience all on its own. The key features are Torx Fan 3.0. Supremely silent with a dispersion fan blade that accelerates the airflow, a traditional fan blade that directs airflow to the heatsink. Trifrozer thermal design uses Torx Fans 3.0 with double ball bearings for heatsink is optimized and heat dissipation. Real time ray tracing in games. Nvidia Turing is the first GPU capable of real time ray tracing. The pros are performance can handle 4K 60 FPS on most games that many cards struggle to achieve. Afterburner Overclocking Utility comes with Predator for in-game video recording, Combuster for DirectX 12 benchmark and supports multi-GPU setups, RGB Mystic Light, customize colors and LED effects with exclusive MSI software and synchronize the look and feel with other components. And for the cons, 4K frame rate, dips under 60 FPS with some 4K games, power draining, more power demanding. If you're looking for the best graphics card for 4K gaming for under $1,000, the MSI Gaming GeForce RTX 2080 is a great choice and you'll get incredible 4K performance. The first product on our list is the Asus ROG Strix GeForce RTX 2080 Ti. This is our best overall graphics card. If you're a gamer looking for gameplay with absolutely the smoothest frame rates at 4K with in-game settings max out, then the Asus ROG Strix GeForce RTX 2080 Ti should be the top on your list, but be prepared to shell out some serious cash. Currently priced at $1,225, the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti is everything you would expect from one of their flagship series gaming cards. The sheer power of it will tame the most demanding 4K games. The factory overclocked model has a big cooler with improved alloy chokes, solid polymer capacitors, improved power stages, fans, and their Axial Tech fans. It definitely has the firepower to push those speeds higher. On the default gaming mode setting, the GPU has a base clock of 1350 MHz that can boost up to 1650 MHz, and on the OC setting, the Strix 2080 Ti boosts it to an impressive 1665 MHz. It's one of the most powerful GPUs for gaming on the market, but it's also one of the most expensive, considering you could build an entire PC for the price of this one graphics card alone. In real-world gameplay, you can expect up to 75 FPS and averaging about 61 FPS in 4K on max in-game settings playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You're not going to see much better than that from any other graphics card. The key features are Turing GPU architecture, plus the all-new RTX platform delivers up to six times the performance of previous generation graphics cards with real-time ray tracing and AI to games. DirectX 12. New visual effects and rendering techniques for more lifelike gaming. Auto Extreme Technology uses automation to enhance reliability. The pros are quiet, very quiet with the quiet BIOS enabled. Performance, 4K 120Hz possible with lower settings. Anti-aliasing, DLSS is an effective new AA method. GPU Tweak 2 provides intuitive performance tweaking and thermal controls. Asus Fan Connect 2 equips two hybrid-controlled fan headers for optimal system cooling. Axial Tech Fans features an all-around better design and IP5X dust resistance. 2.7 slot design expands cooling surface area by over 20% compared to last gen. Max Contact Technology allows two times more contact with the GPU chip for improved thermal transfer. And for the cons, extremely expensive. Premium cost for a premium card. RGB Lighting dated in the face of addressable RGB from the competition. Windows support requires Windows 10. If you're looking for one of the best graphics cards available and willing to pay to get smooth frame rates at 4K with in-game settings max out, then the Asus ROG Strix GeForce RTX 2080 Ti is one of the best options for you. All right, guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now. So if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you back here soon for the next video.